Dear learners, welcome to the course Ask NASA and Microwave Engineering. In this video, I will be explaining pin diodes. Pin diode or PAN diode is a two terminal semiconductor device. Pin diode has an insulating region between the P and N type materials. It is therefore a multi region device despite having only two electrodes. The I region is not really a true semiconductor but rather it is very lightly doped n-type region. It is called an intrinsic region because it has very few charge carriers to support the flow of an electric current. This figure shows the structure of a pin diode. When a forward bias potential is applied to the pin diode, charge carriers are injected into the I region from N and P region. But the lightly doped design of the intrinsic region is such that the N and P type charge carriers do not immediately recombine, as in PN junction diode. There is always a delay period for recombination. Because of this delay phenomena, there is always a small but finite number of carriers in the I region that are uncombined. As a result, the resistivity of the I region is very low. This figure shows doping profile of a pin diode. A pin diode consists of a heavily doped P region and a N region separated by a layer of high resistivity material that is nearly intrinsic. Under zero and reverse bias, the diode has a very high impedance at microwave frequencies. This permits the use of a pin diode as a switch in a microwave transmission line. Also, the resistance of pin diode can be varied continuously by changing the diode bias. Therefore, it can be used as a variable attenuator. This figure illustrates the impurity concentration, space charge density and electric field distribution of an ideal pin diode. Radio frequency AC signals can pass through the pin device and in fact under some circumstances see it is merely a parallel plate capacitor. We can use pin diode as electronic switches for RF signals and as RF delay line or phase shifter or as an amplitude modulator. These are applications of pin diode. Here I have listed some of the applications of pin diode. We will discuss one by one. Pin diodes can be used either as a variable resistor or an electronic switch for RF signals. In the later case, the diode is basically a two-valued resistor with one value being very high and the other being very low. These characteristics open several possible applications. First application is pin diode as a switch. When used as switches, pin diodes can be used to switch devices such as attenuators, filters and amplifiers in and out of the circuit. It has become standard practice in modern radio equipment to switch DC voltage to bias pin diodes rather than directly switch RF or IF signals. In some cases, the pin diode can be used to simply short out the transmission path, path to bypass the device. Pin diode can be used as switches in series, parallel or in combination modes. Here, this figure 4 and 5, it illustrates pin diodes as a series switch and the pin diode is a parallel switch respectively. In the series circuit, the diode D1 is placed in series with the signal line. When the diode is turned on, the signal path has a low resistance and when the diode is turned off, it has a very high resistance. Thus providing the switching action. When switch S1 is open, the diode is unbiased. So, the circuit is open by the value of very high series resistance. But when S1 is closed, the diode is forward biased. 
and the signal path is now a low resistance the ratio of on off resistance provides a measure of the isolation of the circuit the figure 5 shows the circuit for a shunt switch in this case the diode is placed across the signal line when the diode is turned off the resistance across the signal path is high so operation of the circuit is unimpeded but when the diode is turned on that is s1 is closed a near short circuit is placed across the line this type of circuit turned off when the diode is forward biased this action is in contrast to the series switch in which a forward biased diode is used to turn the circuit on this figure illustrates the application of pin diodes as a combination switch so in this circuit d1 and d2 are placed in series with the signal line while d3 is in parallel with the line d1 and d2 will turn on switch with a positive potential applied while d3 turns on when a negative potential is applied when switch s1 is in the on position a positive potential is applied to the junction of the three diodes as a result of d1 and d2 are forward biased and thus take on a low resistance at the same time d3 is hard reverse biased and so has a very high resistance signal is passed from input to output essentially in unimpeded but when switch s1 is in the off position the opposite situation obtains in this case the applied potential is negative so d1 or d2 are reverse biased and take on a high series resistance while d3 is forward biased and it takes on a low series resistance this circuit action creates a tremendous attenuation of the signal between input and output another application is pin diode as attenuator it is one of the important application of the pin diode it acts as a variable attenuator in an rf circuit because of its variable resistance characteristics the pin diode can be used as a variable resistor used as a variety of attenuator circuit pin diode as a modulator pin diode will also work as an amplitude modulator so in this application a pin diode is connected across a transmission line or inserted into one end of the piece of microwave wave guide so you know down here this is the circuit which represents the pin modulator the audio modulating voltage is applied through an rf choke to the pin diode when a continuous wave signal is applied to the transmission line the varying resistance of the pin diode causes the signal to be amplitude modulated when a pin attenuator is placed along a transmission line sine wave square wave and pulse modulation can be obtained by varying current through diode this arrangement shows the modulator circuit a typical application of pin modulator is in closed loop automatic leveling circuit another application is limiter pin diode can also be used as a limiter a pin limiter is a microwave switch that is controlled by self bias rather than external bias pin diodes in shunt are used to limit the power typical pin limiter is shown in figure the choke provides a return path for the self bias circuit the power handling capability can be increased further by using more diodes in shunt 
spin limiters can withstand maximum power to up to 100 kilowatts. Limiters are also used for protection of microwave systems. Spin diode can also be used as a phase shifter. This figure illustrates the application of spin diode as a phase shifter. The phase shifter uses a circulator to provide a matched input and output for the switched elements. A diode switch is used as either open or short circuit over a finite bandwidth. Already we know the basic function of the circulator. Phase shifters are used in phased array radar systems. In these systems, a phase shifter is put in series with each radiator of an array of antennas. One more application is spin diode as TR switch. That means transmitter or receiver switch. A pair of spin diodes used as a transmit receive switch in a radio transmitter models from low high frequency to microwave frequency use this technique where you see a relayless TR switch. It is almost certain that a pin diode network such as it is shown in figure. When switch S1 is open, diodes D1 is in series with the transmitter signal. So, it blocks it from reaching the antenna. The diode D2 on the other hand, it is across the receiver input. So, it does not attenuate the receiver input signal. When a switch S is open, diodes D1 is in series with the transmitter signal. So, it blocks it from reaching the antenna. Diode D2 uh, on the other hand, it is across the receiver input. So, it does not attenuate the receiver input signal at all. But when switch S1 is closed, the opposite situation occurs both D1 and D2 are now forward biased. Diode D1 is now a low resistance in series with the transmitter output signal. So, the transmitter is effectively connected to the antenna. Diode D2 is also a low resistance and is across the receiver input. So, it causes it to short out. Presently, all VHF or UHF portable walkie talkie use pin diode switching. This is one of the important applications of pin diode. I hope you would understand characteristics of pin diode and applications of pin diode. Thank you.